Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a will I buy it video. This whole video idea and series was started by Samantha March. So I'm going to link her channel down below to go check her out. She is the queen of will I buy it. I did one a couple weeks back and it's time to do another one. You guys wanted to see these more regularly. So I figured let's do one this week. And I have a bunch of things that I wanna go over. A couple things that I actually mentioned in last video, but we have more details now. Specifically for REM Beauty, I also have a grievance with Sephora that I wanna talk about that I'll throw in somewhere in this video because I'm a little upset because this sales going on right now. But we have a lot to discuss for new releases and things that I wanna let you guys know. Will I be buying, won't I be buying? My thoughts on all these new releases. So if you like these videos, be sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know to continue doing these moving forward in the future. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, hit the bell to be notified of all my future videos. And let's go ahead and begin this week's Will I Buy It? If you wanna follow along, I do get most of my images from TrendMood1 on Instagram. I will also have her Instagram account linked down below for you guys to check out if you aren't following already. It's where I get all my makeup news from, see what's releasing, get pictures, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to start off with what was just posted today. I'm filming on Monday. This should be up on Thursday, I think. And Rem Beauty by Ariana Grande has put out some products and images that she will be releasing for her first drop, which I believe is this Friday. And I do wanna pick up some products. I don't know whether I'll be doing dedicated or throwing this into a trying new makeup. It just depends on what you guys wanna see. I feel like it's probably going to be in a trying new makeup, but if you really wanna see a dedicated, please let me know because I wasn't thinking that it was popular enough for a dedicated, but I can, change up my plans. We have images, we have highlights here. She has some different colors too. Some really deep and cool colors for highlights that I haven't seen before. Eyeshadow palettes, we have lip products, eye products. I've never seen a color that deep for highlights. So that's pretty cool that she has that. I think I'm leaning towards this first shade though for highlights. So I definitely wanna pick up a highlighter. I'm not going to be getting any of the colorful stuff because I just wouldn't use that moving forward. I'm thinking I might pick up the mascara. I don't know about the lashes, definitely lips. Like I wanna check out lips for sure. This lip stain, I wanna check out obviously the lipsticks, lip gloss. This looks like a really pretty color. I honestly need still some more to go off of before I couldn't commit to exactly what products I'm going to buy, but I'm going to pick up a handful and I will review them for you guys. So let me know specifically what you're interested in because that's gonna sway what I purchase as well. And I'm just happy to see more images for that prior to purchase because I like to set and plan things <laughs> out. So if it's just like a blind drop on Friday, I would have a heart attack probably. <laughs> but now that I can actually plan out kind of what I'm going to get and just view the colors. It's making me a little bit more calm for the launch. So we have that. And on Sephora Canada, they came out with the holiday versions of Dyson. And I just need to talk about this for a second because I finally decided that I wanted to get an air wrap. And I appreciate you guys who told me that shoppers I could get with Optimum and it's available at Best Buy, other places. Dyson has them in stock currently but it was sold out of shoppers, otherwise I would have used my points. Sephora, I had it in my cart, the holiday set, because it's this pretty blue and gold one that I wanted to get. And it was in stock prior to the day before the sale and it kept going in and out of stock. I was looking at this all morning, watching it go in, out, in, out. And of course, it was out of stock for the sale. I'm just upset that they don't have it in stock for the sale because I really wanted to pick it up and the blue one's really pretty. I'm just sad about that. I know these kind of things happen and the other air wrap is out of stock too. It was never in stock prior to the sale. I set my alarm, I got up, I wanted to get it and it was out of stock. So I'm just a little bit upset. I was hoping to get that and have a review and help you guys out on the decision because I know a lot of people want that for the holiday season. So now that I have it in my head that I want it and I'm not able to get it, I'm just upset about that. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm still stalking the Sephora website daily, hourly. 
minutely, not that often, but I'm stocking it a lot to see if it comes back in stock. I'm signed up for notifications and I, I definitely want the blue one. I just don't understand. Did they take it off prior to the sale? <laughs> Sephora wouldn't do that, right? I don't wanna buy it full price. I refuse. I will only be getting it at a discount. So I will wait for Black Friday sales because I know they might have some of those on Best Buy, Dyson. So if Sephora doesn't pull through this time around, I'm going to be shopping for it. I hope I get my hands on it. If I don't, it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> what can I say? So that is my complaining for today. I feel better. MAC has revealed these new highlight and contour palettes. I like these palettes. I like the formulas of it. The ones that they're showing look way too gray for me, like really, really ashy. So we'll see what comes out through that. I never watched Money Heist, so I'm not interested in that NYX one. Star Wars Collection Part 2 for ColourPop. I don't really purchase too much ColourPop, to be honest. The last thing that I did get was the Barbie collection, but everything else I pretty much pass on. It just goes too fast for me, honestly. There's a Marilyn Monroe collection with Revolution Pro. It does look pretty. I'm happy with my collector's pieces that I did get from MAC years ago, so I wouldn't purchase this only because I already have some Marilyn Monroe collector's pieces that I cherish immensely. Lunar Beauty has a new launch, and this is something that I'd definitely be interested in checking out. I like the colors in it for the face. I'd use those on my eyes too, honestly. I just really like those kind of tones and matte tones. I'm really attracted to that. Not cosmetic, but Jaclyn came out with Jaclyn Roxanne, her jewelry line. I did end up getting one piece of jewelry on the day of the launch. Her website was a disaster, <laughs> but I did go through. And I also got some of the Hot Honey, Mike's Hot Honey, because I watch her man's cooking channel, which is awesome, honestly. How she's good with makeup, he's good with cooking. Like he's that good. And he you always talked about Mike's Hot Honey, so I got that, it's a side note. But I wanted to try that, so I put that in my cart with some jewelry, so I'm gonna get some Hot Honey with some jewelry. Coming soon, you will see. Honestly, all her jewelry I liked. Every single item, it's beautiful, I love it. So I can't wait to see the quality in my own hands when I get it in the mail. It's just not here yet, but I will keep you guys updated on that. I'm scrolling. Nothing's catching my eye. Okay, here we go. Then Natasha Denona came out with her face and eye palettes, which I haven't purchased one yet because I, I honestly couldn't decide which one I wanted and I'm still going back and forth, back and forth. I like the highlight and the light, the blush and the dark, and then a mixture of the eyeshadows in both palettes. So I'm undecided still. I think they look beautiful. I would like to pick up one if I can ever manage to decide on one because I don't feel like both is necessary because I watched my friend Steph, Stephanie Babs Beauty, her comparison and it didn't look like I needed both when she showed it, but they still look stunning. I still want one, but I'm undecided on that. So hopefully I can decide during the Sephora sale and save some money on that. Lady Gaga has revealed her house laboratories holiday collection. Actually looks really nice. The tones, the packaging, like everything about it I think looks stunning. I would be curious to pick up some of those. Are those, that blush, is that a blush? Let me look, open. Gel powder all over rouge. That looks stunning. And the highlight, the brush, the lips, like everything about that collection is appealing to me. It's different for House Labs and I really liked her eyeliner. I haven't tried more from the brand besides the eyeliner because you guys told me to pick that up and I still love that eyeliner. Lawless has some mini sets that you guys commented for the lip glosses and I totally would have picked that up. So thank you guys for letting me know about that. I did see it online, but I have all those shades already. <laughs> I have them in the full size. So I love that you guys let me know about that because I would recommend that to you because I've purchased full size ones, but if I hadn't already done that, this would have been mine. I love the formula, one of the best glosses. I'm gonna skip on the eyeshadow palette, but the glosses for sure. I recommend. I did get the Rose Quartz palette from Huda Beauty, the new 18 pan eyeshadow palette that she came out with. I did a whole review on it. I will link it above for you guys. Spoiler alert, but I do recommend it if you like that color story. If you have the New Nude or Mercury Retrograde, you're gonna have to watch the video to make that decision for yourself. That's the only thing that's gonna steer you off that in case it's too similar for you. But I do have comparisons for you in that video to check out. This new collection from Mel Cosmetics. 
looks gorgeous. I think Stephanie's getting it. She said in PR. So I'm going to wait to see her swatches and her trying new makeup, I think, before I decide. She knows what I like. So once she gets her hands on it, lets me know what's good, then I'll definitely check out more from that collection personally. I rely on Steph. I'm sure a bunch of you do as well, but she is my girl for the new collections. She's on it for new stuff. So I cannot wait to see her thoughts on that. More imagery from that. Absolutely stunning. The lipsticks, the embossing on it, incredible. I have some images saved from way back now. So these are some older news, but Mariah Carey Beauty is coming out. I'm not sure about that one. What are your guys' thoughts? Mariah Carey did have that collection with MAC Cosmetics, which I absolutely love. That's the only thing that would make this good if it was anything like that glamorous. I think it would be cool, but it would have to be super elevated packaging for Mariah Carey, in my opinion, because she is extra, so it needs to be like that. Billie Eilish came out with a fragrance. I actually would be curious to pick that up, honestly. It is called Eilish. I'd like to look more into that. The bottle is cool. It doesn't match my aesthetic for my collection, but it definitely looks like something cool that she would come out with. So I can totally see that. And I'd love to at least smell what it smelled like. Danessa Myricks came out with the Lightwork Volume 3 palette. This for me has a bunch of those colorful dual chrome type finishes in there that I personally wouldn't use that often. The color story to me doesn't grab me in, but the quality of it would be awesome if this is something that you like because I love Danessa Myricks brand. Makeup Eraser came out with some villains for their makeup erasers. I picked up the SpongeBob ones for my kids, if you saw that haul, and this one I would use for myself. <laughs> I love the Disney villains, so that looks really cool. And that's honestly everything that I wanted to kind of discuss. It wasn't a ton, but I definitely had some new launches that I wanted to give my opinions on. Ton of new makeup though coming out, and I'm very excited for Rem Beauty personally. It's intriguing, it looks different, the packaging looks different. I hope the formulas are good. So that is something that I'm curious to try and would love to know what products specifically from that you would like me to pick up if we know more information closer to Friday when I believe it is launching. So let me know down below all your thoughts, your opinions on the new collections, what I should do in regards to these new ones. Would you buy it? Should I buy it? Will I buy it? I'd like to buy it in some cases. Anyways, I need to get off filming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for spending some time with me today. I'm having the time of my life apparently filming this video. It was so much fun to film. I love these kind of casual, just get to chat with makeup with you guys. Just talk with a friend. That's what I like. I get to share what I love, things that are bothering me <laughs> with the new makeup launches. We just get to have fun and share our love for beauty. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me today on today's video. I hope you enjoy these Will I Buy It's. I'm not gonna do them weekly, I don't think, just because not enough new resonates with me personally, but I think I could do them bi-weekly, at least monthly, but I would like to do it bi-weekly. So thank you guys for joining me today. I would love for you to subscribe if you have not already by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.